Good evening, everyone. This is John Locke, and welcome to the Lock in Your Success Trade and Market Update for June 9th, 2013. Before we get going, I'd like to remind you that the presentation is for educational purposes only. I am not a broker-dealer or a financial advisor, and am not making any specific trade recommendations. Any trades and or results covered in this presentation may or may not be live trades. In the event uh, we have a computer simulated trade, the results are believed to be portrayed as accurately as possible. However, because they were computer simulated, the actual execution prices may vary. And also the risk of tr loss in trading options can be significant, so please be aware of all your risks prior to placing any trades. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to visit our trading blog. And if you have not yet signed up for our mailing list, please do so at www.lockinyoursuccess.com. And while you're there, please check out the Rock M3 and Bearish Butterfly video series. And stay tuned for our SSS trading series and M21 trading system coming soon. If you're interested in any of the series, you can go to bearishbutterfly.com or m3optimist.com for more information. All right, let's take a look at the markets. The SPX sold off a little bit last week, but it did stay in the more or less range that we were expecting. It came down and did a textbook bounce right at the trend line. So this was completely expected, and we remained sideways more or less for the week as expected. If we take a look at the Russell, we did the same thing. We came down. We were expecting a bounce at the 970 level. did exceed that slightly. We got the bounce and remained sideways. Taking a look at the NASDAQ, same thing, uh, very predictable trend line bounce. And the Dow, here again, like you said, we, we broke the trend line here earlier in the week, but uh, we came down to our horizontal support and had a nice bounce off of that. So the markets are acting exactly as expected. Where we go from here, I would expect continued sideways movement in the very wide range we set in. And if we're looking at the Russell, that would take us uh, from about 10.10 down to as low as 9.50. However, I would expect us to stay above the lows we set in here uh, last week. So more sideways movement I'm expecting. If uh, if I had a bias one way or the other, I say well, my bias would be to the upside. I've said we're more likely to break higher than we are to break lower. Uh, however, I think we're most likely to stay in the sideways range for a little while. So not a whole lot to say on the markets. Basically, we're still in this sideways range. And longer term, we're still in our uptrends. So uh, so all is going as expected. If we take a look at our trades, starting with the V Condor, this has had no adjustments last week. So we've just been sitting here, and we are almost back to break even. I would expect, like I said, with the, uh, continuing to expect the markets to be rather sideways, that this more or less expires at a small profit this uh, month, this month. So everything is going okay here. Not a banner month, but you know, considering the large amount of price movement we had since we put this on, we had a very very aggressive up move. It was good to make anything here. So this was a, a nice trade. If we take a look at our V Condor for July, we had no adjustments on this either. We're currently sitting here as we were for the last week. If we take a look at our analyzed graph, we are coming up to our expiration line here as far as our profit and loss goes. If we continue to stay relatively sideways, in other words, we don't really break any higher or lower here, we are going to start widening this out, the uh, straddle out so that we can raise our expiration graph. But uh, so far, so good here. So no problems whatsoever. If we go to our June bearish butterfly, we'll notice that uh, we did have an adjustment here this week on, the, on, on this. Back on Wednesday, when the market came down, I had ended up, I ended up selling out four of these 1010 call butterflies to correct our delta because we were in expiration guidelines. So if we come back to last Wednesday at 3 o'clock, we notice our delta is over our into expiration guidelines coming to the close, and I believe at 3.30-ish, yep, at 3.30-ish, we went ahead and we sold off four of these 1010s. So we look like this at the end of the day. We're right around positive 250 delta, and this is what our position had looked like. With the bounce that we had later in the week, it uh, set us up quite nicely, and as of Friday at 3.30, 
this position has gone positive and we're sitting uh, looking like this if we get any kind of a quiet couple of days here for uh, till wednesday or thursday or so then this should look really nice coming into expiration and do okay for the month if we take a look at our june m3 trade this did a good couple of adjustments also on wednesday we had to take five of these 960s and uh, roll them back to 950 to deal with a delta problem and later in the week when the market reversed we took five of our 980s and rolled those up to 990. so what we're doing basically is we're slowly widening this position out if the market does as expected which i'm biased to the upside i think sideways but biased to the upside we're probably going to have to widen this out some more but as of right now this is doing fine it's up a few thousand dollars and unless we get some sort of a radical market movement this should be a fairly good trade this month if we come down to the june rock trade this had no adjustments this week the position remains the same the profit and loss is up uh, over four thousand dollars which is almost ten percent and we have a profit target of 20. however when we roll back into this position a lot of times i will lower my profit target we'd have to have a pretty hard move here to run into too much trouble we have lots of downside protection and realistically with any kind of an up move here we're going to be adding in uh, some 10 10 butterflies and it's going to pick this expiration line up coming into expiration and if we get any kind of reasonable market conditions then uh, this should do very well this month and last but not least is our july bearish butterfly which we had a we entered near the top of our range so the pullback put us up some money and we're sitting in a position that looks like this so no problems here uh, if we stay into range we won't get scaled in if it, if it shoots up high enough then we will but uh, as for now this is looking excellent so those are all our trades and we are continuing to expect more or less a sideways movement if anything we may break out bullish we shall see one of the comments i've been getting is i haven't been updating midweek i'm going to attempt to be a little more diligent in doing that i haven't been doing that because i've been so darn busy and we're tracking a lot of trades now and i haven't had the time to post every move that we've had so i've just been doing everything on the weekly updates i'm going to try and get something in midweek even if it's just uh, something in print just to keep you updated with uh, what's going on here well all right i hope everyone has an awesome week and i'll keep you updated with any changes Thank you and good night.